Hey guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to be reviewing a product called DEP. So it's also called Adaptil for some of you guys that don't know it. It's called the Dog Appeasing Pheromone. So it's really good for your stressed out dogs, anxious dogs, or dogs that have like separation anxiety. Um, with Mocha, I've been using it um, recently when I moved into a new house because I didn't want him to freak out about being left alone in this new place. So it comes in several different ways. Um, it comes in a spray. So this one here, it says it lasts for about three to four hours, depending on um, how exposed it is and how well the dog adjusts to it, all that jazz. So I always spray it half an hour before I want to take a fit. So I'll spray it first thing when I wake up in the morning. That way by the time I leave for work, it's already in play. Um, the other way it comes in is a diffuser. So the diffuser, you have to leave it plugged in 24 hours a day. And you have to leave it plugged in somewhere where the dog can reach it. Because there's been bad stories of how a dog has tried so hard to get to a diffuser and it was blocked off and it ended up destroying things, which kind of defeated the purpose of the diffuser in the first place. And then the other way that it comes in is a collar. So the collar has to be left on 24-7 as well, just like the diffuser. Um, the collar comes in two sizes. There's the small to medium and then the medium to large dog. Now Mocha was the medium to large dog and he was sized down quite a bit. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Come here. So you can see it's just a grey collar like this. And then the way that it goes on, it's just like that, it just threads through and then there's just a bit that hangs off and if there's quite a bit that hangs off, you can just cut it off, it doesn't matter. So the way it works is when it's in contact with the dog's body heat, that's how it releases the pheromone. So you have to make sure that it's quite nice and tight but not so tight that they're choking. So the way to do it is just tighten it until you can get two fingers through easily and then that's about it for the dip collar. Now they say the collar will last for about four to six weeks, depending on how well it's used, how well the dog takes to it, all that jazz. For Mocha, it's been on for about two weeks now, and I have found that having the collar on, it's a lot better for when I leave him home during the day because he hasn't been destructive. He hasn't urinated anywhere that I haven't designated him to, which is quite good, because last thing you want to do is come home to a new house and pee all over the show that you didn't need. Um, they do say even if you get it wet, it doesn't matter because once it dries it will start um, evaporating the hormone again so it doesn't matter if you get it wet, just leave it on 24 hours. However, if you are giving them a bath then yeah, take it off because you don't want to drench the collar. Um, I haven't seen any adverse reactions at all using either the DAP spray or the DAP collar. Some people have reported that um, putting the collar on it's caused some sort of reactions to the skin. I don't know whether that's because they had it too tight or whether the dog reacted to the synthetic hormone that is in the DAP. But I haven't found any problems thus far and it's just certainly been great for my Mocha because he hasn't been as stressed out as he probably would be if I took him to a new place. Um, you can use them all in conjunction as well. They definitely don't recommend against that. So you could have like your diffuser plugged in and then your collar going on and then spraying the dap where their bedding is. Um, another thing with the dap spray is never spray it directly on the dog. You always spray it on some clothing or their bedding or their toys or their crate, just wherever that's um, not the dog. It doesn't matter if they come into contact with it, it's just more you don't want it directly on the dog because it could cause an adverse reaction. Um, there's certainly nothing bad that I've experienced with it, so I definitely encourage anyone to go out and give it a go and see if it works for you.